Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and it's cast time once again, and um, let me go ahead and intro this music real quick, and this time around, this is gonna, be, I'm gonna be playing black metal, so, but I've basically been listening to this album off and on all night, so, might as well play it here, um, but, this uh, album here, it's their, <laughs> it's their, don't say much, their, great swagger album. Obviously, this is Donovan Black Metal. So, anyway, um, so let me go ahead and get that going. And I'll go ahead and turn it down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, because I kind of need to concentrate a little bit here. But, otherwise, uh, yesterday I just did my usual. Just played some, uh, Guilty Gear Rev 2. And, um, and like I've also been doing, uh, I work on Windjammers too. Um, I actually, actually, I, no, I stand corrected. Uh, yesterday, just before I started, the, just before I started the stream, I actually had Windjammers two up and running, ready to go, you know, ready to be streamed. Just before I clicked the start streaming button, I just stared at the screen for a few moments, and I'm like, I can't do it. So. I ended up, um, I ended up shutting down the game and putting some Rev 2 back up. So, uh, I, I don't want to, I mean, never say never, but it looks like, unless I get a, a sudden hankering, um, I think Windjammers 2 is going to be on the shelf. Because I'm 2 under Rev 2 right now. So, and speaking of Rev 2, I hope the sound works. Okay. So. So let me go ahead. So this time around, um, played Kaka Kiss like usual, or like I've been doing here for the past few days. Um, uh, again, mostly due to color 17. Because I really like that color, but this time around, I don't, I don't recall me uh, bringing this up on any of my other uh, other videos. But this time around, I went with. Let me back up a bit. I'm going with. I went with stylish. Uh, it just, it's. I don't want to say easy mode as much as I want to say onga bunga mode. Yeah, that's a, that's a fighting game term, by the way. Onga bunga. That's just where. You just charge forth, throw caution to win, mash buttons. Um, the brute force method, I guess you'd call it that. So, but, just say auto. Um, Oh, and also for what it's worth, um, and, whoa, hey, 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 and I gotta hit the ground running. Man, I am getting my ass shit. Roddy King be jealous. Uh oh. I wasn't even trying to do that. Um, yeah, but let's, uh, But what I was trying to say, to start with, as you saw there, I recently started doing training mode with the uh, the dummy set to the max difficulty, 100. So some kind of, so there's some compensation. Uh, uh, 
So, let's go ahead and turn him off. Uh, I guess I messed up somewhere. Okay, so. Um, stylish mode. Which means, um, actually the only part of stylish mode I want is the one button specials, like what you see here. All this down to forward, down to back, the Z motion, and you got down pull it twice, and a few moments ago when I was fighting that that uh, black and blonde haired guy, his name is Zato1, um, I accidentally triggered this, and I was actually trying to get this going, but couldn't do it because it's kind of hard to do when you're you got an enemy that's on you like flies on shit. So, so this is what stylish mode looks like. These are all one button specials. Just gotta hold the direction and just hit, hit your uh, special move button. Mine being R2. Move forward. And you can do the new and improved. And also, I need to do something else here, too. Kind of against my better judgment, but I, I kind of need you guys to see this. So, you can see here, I'm hitting R2. Or I can hold forward. And do the new and improved one, and then I can do a move hold down you do the sweep special then you can move back so you can go back down forward And there you go, I hit him with two specials. And another thing that um that stylish mode has is uh, auto combos. And if anybody seen me stream up, uh, anybody seen me stream Dragon Ball Fighters, this will be very familiar to you. See, I'm, I'm just gonna do, just gonna hit that button, and he'll do a combo. Actually, there we go. See, that's all I'm doing. Or, you can also do different combos depending on which direction you're moving. So, there's that combo. Or you could... So... Or... Or you could just do, you could just mash kick. And um, if you look, and again, if you look on the lower left corner, there's uh, that tension meter. It, it's basically the special meter. When it builds up to at least half, you're gonna start doing uh, big, huge, super special moves. Yep, ride the lightning. That's a Metallica reference, but but you kind of get the idea though. Ta-da! 
So, and again, there. And you see, you're even doing um. See, I can even do I can even do uh do specials as the end, at the end of combos. So. And um, as as one would probably expect, stylish mode is pretty much frowned upon. Um, and um, if I understand it right, very rarely is it used is it used in tournaments because you really do have limited options. And uh, the only reason I want stylish, in case I didn't say this already about a zillion times, is uh, I only want it for the one button specials. That's all I wanted. That's it. I don't need the auto combos. But it should also be said though too that when uh, with stylish mode, you're not barred from using normals or using special moves. Because I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, but as a kind of comp, as to, you know, for some kind of compensation, because uh, sometimes, because earlier, a lot of these battles are actually pretty easy. Pretty easy with stylish mode. So, what I started doing is, uh, at least with training mode, again, setting the column level to straight 100. <laughs> Boy, she shot me out of that. So, so, in case you haven't noticed, I kind of need to have stylish mode on when I have the computer set to 100. Ain't no way, I mean, ain't no way in hell I'm going to be able to do any of these motion inputs. I mean, she's on me like flies on shit. So, yeah, I'm going to kind of need the uh, one button specials just to stand a chance. So, but like I it's like I said before, um, this kind of easy mode is actually too easy. So. Who dares to enter the main IT? Because uh, one other thing, in case I didn't mention about this game, about this, but uh, every character has what's called a, a Gatling combo. Looks like I'm playing on her home turf. And uh oh. And I'm playing technical right now, so... Oh, she got hers off first.
All right, wait. So, but like I was trying to say, every character in this game has what's called a Gatling combo. All you have to do is punch, kick, slash, heavy slash. That's it. So, it's not like you. It's not like I need an auto combo. There you go. See? Okay, there was a... Uh... Oh, wrong way, wrong way. Yeah, it should be it. Down for So you can go. That's why I that's why I'd want the one button specials right there. Half the time they don't go. Oh, and that little symbol you see your um your next projectile attack. It's gonna be more effective. You can actually use it as an attack itself. So, like I said, like I said, every character has that basic combo. So, uh, sorry to sound like a broken record, but you don't you don't need to have auto combos in this game. Oh, that's a troll. So, I mean, it's like, I, I mean, in this combo here, I figured out on my own. basic combo so like I said I'm I did that myself so but anyway um just wanted to show that so, so let's head on back I do have to move along um, but one other thing that I also did um Another channel I watch from time to time, Larry Lawton. Uh, for those who don't know, he was a jewel thief for some odd years. Eventually he got caught, and then he got thrown in jail for, I think it was like 10 or 12 years. But uh, eventually he got out, but uh, during that time, he was, uh, he was also, uh, I think he studied law. No, he wasn't a lawyer, but I think he was a prison lawyer. He would, uh, he would help people get their convictions overturned and he would help those that were that were uh, wrongly convicted or wrongly accused. He'd help them get out of jail, that kind of thing. So, but, but yeah, he got his own channel going, and I guess recently he started doing a 
doing a Friday weekly news wrap up. Um, and uh, one thing he talked about is uh, there, I guess there's a uh, school shootings, like a school shooting recently, actually right in my home state of Minnesota. And he was, and it just is sick, twisted, and disturbing as this might sound. The first thing that came to mind is uh, in the I got this really crazy feeling that in the future somebody somewhere is gonna come out with like a, a school shootings tier list and out of curiosity I actually went on tier maker and typed it down and luckily I haven't seen any so all I'm seeing is like schools you know school subjects school grades you know stuff that's school related but I didn't see anything on school shooting, so I guess that's kind of cool. Yeah. But I, I, I do have a feeling though. Um. Oh yeah, this, this is probably gonna be the. This, there's probably like an infinite amount of pages on this one, so I'll just call it good here. But like I said, it just. It was just, like I said, it was just the first thing that came to mind. I think he kind of, he kind of said something about, uh, like, when's it going to end? When's it going to stop? Um, well, I think school shootings have been going on for many, 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 many years, so I don't, it doesn't, I don't think there's going to be any signs of it stopping, you know. In fact, in fact, let me, um, uh, let me take a look at that. So, actually, no. I'll. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna shit can. I don't have time. So. But I. I mean. But like I said, I could. I, for some reason, I could see that happen. At some point, some kid's just gonna think it's so funny that uh, that he should make a go ahead. Go ahead and make a tier list about school shootings. I mean, consider, you know, consider how many there are these days. Someone's got to get an itch to rank them. And then, um, another thing he talked about was, uh, I didn't, I didn't pay attention to the whole story on this, but there's a, apparently there's a lot of hate for Joe Rogan and, you know, the misinformation and that kind of thing. I mean, some people, hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink of, uh, Arizona green tea. But, I guess, uh, like I said, a lot of people love him. A lot of people hate him. I don't really care for him anymore. Once he got bought out by Spotify, it just, nothing I could really put my finger on. It just, I didn't, I wasn't really into it anymore. So, I think part of it might have been the location, like, where he does the podcast now, it's like all, it's all, oh God, slick and sophisticated, I'm trying to find the right words right now, looks a little too upscale for my taste, I like, I mean, I liked his early, his early ones where, you know, it was just like a big American flag behind him, and it had a, his, uh, the podcast had a very lived-in feel to it. So, but at, at some point, I just wasn't interested in it anymore. And then, um, I did, I did catch one thing about it, though. Um, Neil Young and Jody Mitchell, two of, uh, two of music's biggest legends, they pulled their music off of Spotify, out of, off of Spotify in protest. And one question went in my mind is, why are they even putting their music on Spotify to begin with? I mean, these two are legends. You know, I, what, for the money? I mean, these guys, I mean, again, these two are legends. They've been around for 70 years. You know, they've been around, I think, since the 50s. They shouldn't be, in, you know, they shouldn't be in need of money or anything. I mean, I don't... I doubt they live like kings and have like 20 mansions in different parts of the different parts of the world or anything. But you know, they should be set for life by now.
You know, I mean, are they, you know, I mean, are they putting their music on Spotify for the fame? I mean, they're famous already. Like I said, they're legends. I mean, hell, they, I mean, hell, they could, they could put a map of the country up on a wall, blindfold themselves, and play pin the tail on the donkey, you know. Wherever they stick the needle is the place they're going to play next. And they'll probably have a good chunk of the country over there to check them out. I mean, they don't, I mean, they don't need Spotify. So, yeah. And then there is, there is something else, too. I mean, it's something that I've heard for at least, you know, for most, if not all, my life. If you don't like it, change the channel. If you don't like, you know, if you don't like it, don't watch. You know, it, it's classic. You know, I'm pretty sure they've been saying it way back when, like probably in the, like the 1920s or 1930s or whatever radio was first invented. You know, the, the, the stuff they're playing on the radio, you know, some people, I don't like this stuff. Their fathers are probably like, well, you don't like it, son. Don't listen to it. Watch you. Let's go visit your girlfriend and you two walk, take a walk in the park while holding hands or something. You know, or you know, something like that. I mean, you know, that kind of line is as old as time. You don't like it, don't watch, or don't listen, or don't whatever. You know, so. Uh, but otherwise, um, I think that's it um i'll just go ahead and call it good here uh because i pretty much said all the things that i wanted to say this morning so but otherwise hey thanks for uh tuning in and listening to me everybody i appreciate that and i should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning oh damn 27 minutes yeah i went a little bit over long but any anyway um once again i should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning so but until then Thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.